हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स लर्निंग सीक्वल इज वन थिंग बट प्रैक्टिसिंग सीक्वल फॉर योर डेटा एनालिटिक्स जर्नी इज आल्सो वेरी वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट दिस वीडियो विल बी सॉल्विंग द टॉप 50 प्रॉब्लम सेट ऑन टू लीड कोड डॉट कॉम सो लीड कोड हैज सेग्रीगेटेड 50 problems on to SQL to solve and practice and these problems are based on multiple concepts so they have mixed all the concepts and put the top 50 problems on to SQL so if you're planning to practice SQL and you are confused with the vast amount of problems which are present onto the internet so these 50 problems can be your go-to problems to practice your concept so for friends we'll be solving the same problems into this particular video or rather the series which I'll be bringing so without wasting much time let us directly solve the very first problem but before that don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you will find this video quite useful so friends let us go to lead. let us solve the very first problem here so you can see the problem is recyclable and low fat products now mind you in this particular series they have combined hard level problems easy level problems and medium level problems so while seeing a particular problem you may feel that this is pretty much easy then why are we solving but to the sql 50 you know list they have listed all kind of problems from all kind of concepts so it is basically you can just solve this 50 problems and be ready to face interviews or be ready to revise your concepts so the point of solving all these problems should be to revise your concepts or practice problems from different kind of concepts. So let us see the very first problem. What is the problem? So here we have a product table. To the input we have a product table. The very first column is the product ID. The second column is of the low fats and the third column is recyclable. So we have different kind of product 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. In the second column, we have low fats. Whether the product ID as zero is a low fat product or not, if it is a low fat product, we have a Y. If it is not a recyclable product, we have a N. So basically, Y stands for yes and N stands for no. So for example, product ID as zero is a low fat product, but not a recyclable product. We can read each of the row like this. Now, what is the output we want? So we need to write a solution to find the ID of the products that are both low fat and recyclable. So into the output, we should get one and three. So you can see one and three, both are actually Y and that is what we want into the output. We want into the output actually the low fat products and recyclable products which are both so let us start writing the you know solution so we will first get the ids of the product which is the product id and after this we will write a condition using the where clause so where low fats is equal to y and there is one more condition and recyclable column should also be equal to y so both the particular you know entries should be y let us run the particular query which we have written let us see if it is passing the test case as one so unknown column product id in list so okay okay we forgot to mention the from from of course product stable let us run the query once again it has accepted let us submit the code and let us see if it if this passes all the test cases which are present so you can see our solution has been accepted while it lies between so many of these other solutions which they are present here or of the other users they are much better than me in terms of the speed or the runtime so if you want me to you know write some other query with a less time constraint we can do that we can definitely do that in some other video just comment down so let us move to the second number problem which is the find customer referee let us move to the problem so here into the input table we have the customer table into the first column we have the customer id into the second column we have the name of the customer into the third column we have the referee id what i understand from this particular table is the customer id as one the name is will and customer has not been referred by anybody so that is why we have a null similarly for the customer id as three the name is alex and uh, he or she has been referred 
by customer id as two referee id here you can see the two which is by jane so three is referred by customer id as jane so this is the you know input we have we have the output as well so output should look like this but let's see what do we want into the output so find the name of the customer that are not referred by the customer with id is equal to two so let us write the query so we'll write we want the name of the customer from which table so the table name is customer and we have a condition present here which is where the person or the customer should not be referred by customer id as two so we'll just write here where referee underscore id is not equal to two let us run the statement and let's see if this if this passes the test result as one so this is giving a wrong answer let's see why this particular solution is wrong so into the output so as per the query which i have written into the output we are getting zach which is if you which is if you will see is correct because jack has not been referred by customer ids2 while alex and mark has been referred by customer ids2 and that is what we are not getting into the output but here is the catch there are some customers who have not been referred by anybody with for example the customer id is one and two and the customer id is four we have the null what about them where did these results go so into the expected output you can see we want all the customers which have null as well so here we need to write additional query where the referee id should not be equal to two as well as can be null as well so we have to write a or condition so we'll just write an or and write the condition let us re-execute the query test case has passed let us submit the query and let us see if it passes all the test cases while you can comment down your queries into the comment box also just write the question number and the query of your solution so that can help me as well as other people into the audience who might be going through the comment section so you can see the solution has passed and here we have a better you know optimization result as compared to other users let us move to the third problem in our set which is of the big countries all of these are easy level problems slowly we'll be going to medium level problems as well let us move to the third number problem here so here we have input table you can see uh, the very input table name is world the first column we have name second column is the continent area population and gdp all these particular you know columns which we are having into the output we want certain results let us see what is the output which we want so we need to write a solution to find the name population and area of big countries now what do they mean by big countries so here they have mentioned a criteria to define a big country you can see it a big country is some country which has an area of at least 3 million and has a population of at least 25 million so these are the you know conditions which we have to put into our query so let's write this name population and area from world the table name is world where we'll have We'll add these conditions which they are present where area should be greater than equal to this number which they have mentioned. So I'll just copy this and paste this here. And one more condition which they have mentioned is population should be at least 25 million. So we'll just write this condition as well so we will copy this number from here as well and paste this let us execute or run the query let us see if this passes the test case one okay so here i have done one mistake i need to add a or condition so either the area can be whatever uh, or the population can be 25 million at least so we have to add a or condition not a and condition let us execute the query you can see the solution has been accepted let us submit the query once again and i think the solution is right and will pass all the test cases here we have but the optimization of the query is very bad we need to improve this 
just comment down if i need to bring more videos on how to optimize the queries and i'll be bringing that so let's move to the fourth problem here which is of the article views so article views we have a views table into the first column we have the article id into the second column we have the author id into the third column we have a viewer id and the view date and into the i output we have certain numbers but we'll just see what is the output so write a solution to find all the authors that viewed at least one of their own articles so these articles they have been written by uh, author obviously uh, article will have a uh, author writing it and uh, the article would be read by somebody so we have the id so let's say there is the i article id as one it is being read by viewer id as five and the article is written by the author id as one so these are the three conditions which are present and the view date so the date on which these articles are being read or viewed is this date which they have mentioned and into the output which we want we need to write a solution to find all the authors that viewed at least one of their own articles so basically they want to know that if i have written a particular article if i am reading my article at least once i need to get into that result so what they mean is author id and the viewer id should be same that's it that is the only condition which they want so let us write this so we will write here select author id comma as id from views where her id is equal to viewer id let us execute this code so here you can see the ids are getting repetitive so let, let me do one thing i'll apply a distinct function and I'll, I'll execute this once again and also they are telling to return the result table sorted by id in ascending order so we'll have to use a order by clause to order all the ids into the ascending order so i'll just write here order id let me execute the command once again you can see it has passed the test case as one let us submit the code and let us see if it passes all the test cases it is very necessary to pass all the test cases because they have you know multiple edge cases here you can see our optimization is the worst among all the other candidates but if you want if you have a better solution better optimization solution please do comment down into the comment section uh, for everybody's you know knowledge let us move to the next question which is the invalid Tweet. so invalid tweet so here you can see the tweets table in the first column we have the tweet id into the second column we have the content so what do we want so we need to write a solution to find ids of invalid tweets we mean by invalid tweet so the tweet is invalid if the number of characters used in the content of the tweet is strictly greater than 15 so we want to get the id of the invalid tweets and the content the number of characters which is used in the tweet is strictly greater than 15 so that is the solution we want so we will write a select tweet id from which table so we want from tweets and what is the condition we want here so we want a condition where length of the content should be greater than 15 and return the result table in any order so we'll run the code because there is no case which has been provided onto the order by of the statement code and let us see if it passes all the test cases so you can see we have passed all the test cases let us move to the next question so here you can see replace employee id with the unique identifier let us see what other tables are present 
so we have two tables the number of one table we have was of the employees we have the employee id we have the employee name and into the second table we have the employee uni table which is the employee id and the unique id assigned to those employees and into the output we want to get the unique id of the employee and the name of the employees so this is the output which we want let us read once what do we want into the output so write a solution to show the unique id of each user if a user does not have a unique id replace just show null okay so you can see these id these users might not have a unique id associated with them so that is why we are getting as null let us write the query so we will write a select so we have two tables so definitely you might have understood we need to do a join of both these tables so onto which column do we need to do a join so we need to do a join onto the id column because that is present into both the tables and that is the common table into both the tables so friends we will do a join here so let us do a join of the id what all columns do we want so we want to get the unique id so let us write here unique id first and the second column we want to get the name from we want to get from the employees table we will do a left join on to the employee uni table column do we join so we join on to the basis of the id so let us rename the table so we'll rename employee table as a and employee ta uni table as b and we are getting the unique id from table as b and name from table as a so which column do we join so we will be joining onto the basis of the id column from both the tables let us run the statement let us see if we are getting the right result here the solution has been accepted let us submit the statement let us see if this passes all the test cases okay so my solution has been accepted with a very worst optimization time we will try to improve this definitely uh, so this next problem is the product sales analysis one so let us move to the input tables what do we have so we have a sales table in the very first column we have the sale id the second column we have the product id the third column we have the year year the fourth column we have the quantity and the price of the product and to the second table which is a product table we have the product id and the product name so what do we want into the output so we want there's some random output let us see what do we want so we need to write a solution to report the product name year and price for each sale id in the sales table I understood we need to join both of these tables as well onto the product id so we'll do one thing we will get the necessary columns which is the product name year and price the product name year price from sales left join product on so we'll rename the table so let us rename this as a let us rename this as b so from which table we are getting the product name we are getting from table b from which table we are getting here we are getting from a and from which table we are getting the price we are getting from a left join product b on so which is the column column on which we will be joining both the tables we will be joining on the basis of the product id so we will write here a dot product id is equal to b dot product id let us run the statement and let us submit the statement as well query as well to the 